Okay, hi, um, we're Team 34, um, road heating system team, and I'm Hyojo King, and I'm in charge of power system and battery. Hi, I'm Yen Chun Song, I'm in charge with the user interface. And my name is Paul Hong Chen, and I'm in charge of the sensors. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm in charge of uh, microcontroller system. So we have two power sources for our system. So one is battery and one is wall power. So um, my LED, a battery level indicator, which has 10 LEDs, will show how much like voltage is left in the battery. So for now, we have um, every LED is light up. So it means that our battery is fully charged. And I use the LM3914N chip for, the, for making LED indicator. And this has uh, two kinds of modes. So this one is already a like bar mode and if you change it to other like dot mode it only shows the last LED light up and I have like two voltage regulators to like power the to give the power to microcontroller and the relay module so I will talk about that with the voltmeter in the later video so we have two voltage regulators one for microcontroller and one for um, relay module so since we're using the 12 volt battery I'm first uh, connected it with a uh, voltage regulator which converts like 12 volts to 5 volts so it is now connected to it um, and the result shows that the uh, voltage is exactly a 5 volts and also if I test the voltage regulator to connect it with um, the 3.3 voltage regulator it shows like 3.3 so the voltage regulator is working correctly right. so uh, now we're gonna demonstrate our um, integrated parts together which is the uh, temperature sensor, reading sensor, and the relay module. So, so first I'm gonna demonstrate the temperature sensor first. So as you can see here is the user interface and this is the temperature and this is a rain sensor percentage of how many rain is on the sensor now. So um, for demonstration I use a uh, cup of ice to show like it can tell the uh, temperature of the atmosphere. So when I cl take uh, close to this temperature you can see like the temperature uh, drops really fast from um, 77 Fahrenheit to 25 because it's uh, stick together and when I take it away um, the temperature uh, goes back to room temperature which is 76 Fahrenheit and then the uh, second part so now the second part we will test uh, the our rain sensor so for demonstration I use a um, wet tissue paper to demonstrate like rainy days or snowing so when I put the wet tissue on to the rain sensor you can see like this rain sensor it's has detected that there is water on it and then if I only when I take it away from it the rain sensor will drop to like because only some parts are wet so if I only put a little so basically when the temperature is lower than uh, for demonstration we set it to lower than 50 degree Fahrenheit and then for the rain sensor if it's 90% uh, wet we will turn on we will, the uh, SM32 will, will send a signal to the relay module and this will control the current of the of the um, heating mat which will turn it on or off so now we're going to demonstrate by first lower the temperature which is make it to under 50 degree Fahrenheit and second make it 50 okay it's, so you can see the lights on the relay module it's on so and also you can see from the lights of the from the heating mat, it's on. And yes, and that's how our integrated system works. So now we have the temperature below 50 Fahrenheit degrees, and then the rain sensor like detects the rain is already like on, detected by the rain sensor. So and so the like the heating mat is already on. And we're gonna put the ice on the heating mat to show that the ice is melting and the heating mat is already heated up. So in the last few seconds of the video, I want to talk about like why our PCB is not working. So I think the main power is uh, the tra power trace of this board. Um, I make it too small, which makes uh, our microcontroller controller actually heats up really fast, like to 780 degrees in 
uh, just a few seconds. And also, uh, in my our LED actually burned out. The battery level indicator also burned out because of the power trace. And that's it. Thank you.